Hello everyone, I am Pyro Falcon, and this is Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. We've cleared about 20 more missions from the last episode, thanks to a lot of grinding, and you can just see on my hour count why I like doing my aggressive cutting now and taking out all the grinding, because that way, if you're interested in the story, you don't have to sit around and only see two and a half hours a week and hopefully get tiny, tiny incremental story advancements every few weeks. That was a bad way to do YouTube, but I'm always improving, always trying to get better. But anyway, just did a lot of grinding, and there are no quests for me in any of the cities that I can do at all, not even dispatch missions, other than ones that are re repeating ones. So I think what I need to do is head to the city itself. Don't come to me. Damn it. Anyway, I'm going to have to go to that city that I have recently just plopped down. I will probably get some sort of direction at that point. Um, I can't target an area. Oh, that's going to be annoying. Area of effect abilities with area effect of two plus panels. So that immediately takes out my white mages. <laughs> they just run around and throw items at people. Well, that's gonna be fun. Um, you can also tell that I've been grinding for a while because Pyro is now the weakest member of the entire team at level 13. This is going to get a little rough with all these... Okay, Mont Blanc is it's gonna have to... Anyway, th this is just a little side mission, so I'm gonna get this done real quick and then we'll get back to the town. All right, that fight wasn't too long, and we managed to free the Nubs Wood on a dispatch mission, which is 10 of the 30 areas clear, so we're probably a good third of the way through the game. Let's head into Baguba Port, which I assume is going to get us our next mission. Yep, we got a cutscene. Koopo, it's my big brother Montblanc! Oh, good. They're procreating. Ugh. No, no. No, no. Long time no, Koopo. You look well. I don't feel well. Not at all, Koopo. I'm so lonesome I could cry, Koopo. What happened? Koopopo? Who's that with you, Mont Blanc? Koopo, Koopo. Where are my manners? This is my new friend, Pyro. Uh, pleased to meet you, I guess. Can I boop your nose? The what? The, the pleasure is mine, Koopo, I, I guess. Keep your hands to yourself, Koopo. So what happened? Well, see... I was a hit and run, Koopo! Uh, a hit and run? Nono is an apprentice gadgeteer, and he just finished building the airship of his dreams. Koopo, but on her maiden voyage, eh, Koopo! Someone ran into you and took off? Ugh, gee, that stinks. It does more than stink, Koopo. Oh, the months I slaved on that ship. Ah, oh, Koopo. Uh, do you know who did it? I know where they are, Koopo. Jagged Dorsa. They're in Jagged Dorsa, Koopo. Jagged Dorsa? That sounds like a monster hunter creature. Well, then there's no problem. All we have to do is go... It's not that simple, Koopo. Uh, this reminds me, I haven't told you about Jaggeds yet. No, you haven't. What's a Jagged? A place where judges can't go. It's a lawless zone. So there's no penalty for breaking the law? That sounds great. I love committing crimes. If it were that great, all the clans would go, Koopo. They don't? Nope. In fact, they avoid them like the plague. Uh, huh? Why? It's true that there are no laws in the Jaggeds, but lawlessness comes at a steep price, Capo. What's that? Death, Capo. I don't get it. <sighs> Ever wonder why no one dies when they engage? It's because laws and the judges are there to stop death. We just maim each other. So, without the judges, you can die. That's right, Koopo! That's why it's best to stay away. But 
what about Nono's airship? We can't just let whoever did this get away scot-free. I thought you'd say something like that, Kupo. Well, look, look, I'll go to the jacket if you'll go, Ku Pyro. Just, we have to be really careful, okay, Kupo? Uh, so you'll go to Jagged Dorsa for me? Really, Kupo? Well, we'll go, but I can't promise we'll succeed. Sorry for dragging you into this, Pyro. I know you've got other things on your mind, Kupo. Yeah, like, not dying? Well, there's no problem. Don't worry about it. Besides, I've got a little brother, too, so I know how you feel. Yeah, his name's Donid. Remember him? We haven't seen him all adventure. Thank you, Kupo! You're not foreshadowing at all! Thank me when I get back in one piece. Sure thing, Kupo! I'll be waiting for you in Baguba Port! Okay. Well, now we have our mission. Oh! And we have a dispatch that finished. Thank you, Marcy. Um, I will deal with her stuff in a second. I am starting to figure out what I'm going to do with all of my teams. Oh, good. That looks fun. Um, I like having my towns kind of together because that way when I get missions, I don't have to run all the way around the whole freaking world. Um, so we'll leave this spot open for the next town. We'll put Jagged Dorsa here. Oh, and I got myself some treasure for that. Okay. Well... So it goes, um, before I just run in there, because I assume, I assume it's a mission I have to take? Let's see here. No, it's not. Those are all, uh, dispatch missions. I'm going to run through the list real quick. This is, this is what I've been doing this entire time. I just run through it just to see if anything is something I can do. Now, there's a couple in here that just require a specific job, and I will do those eventually. The only reason I'm not doing those between episodes is for the sake of the show. I'm not... I I'm just trying to keep my party exactly how I want them, uh, rather than experimenting too much. We've got the whole crew here, in fact. If I remember right, you can have a maximum of 20 characters in your clan. So I'm keeping it really thinned down by only having, was that, 15 right now. Um, because the more people you have, the more mouths to feed, the more equipment you have to buy, the more you have to kind of figure out what's going on, the more you have to grind, but the more flexibility you have. The thing is, if we really need someone with a particular job, I can always swap someone to it. Like Cyrus here is currently an animist, and Keef is my thief, Keefer the Thiefer. But that's temporary. The only reason Keef is a thief is because once he has a thief skill, he can become a juggler. And that's what we really want. So we're just getting him squared away with that. But we have access to seeing what all the different jobs are and their requirements. So <clears throat> if I desperately need a gadgeteer, looks like I just need to get him two thief abilities, which he's working on. But that will come in the future. I don't particularly care right now. So I guess we're just going to head straight to Jagged Dorsa. I'm gonna do a nice little save. Always wanna save before and after everything. And yeah, we're just going right for it. Jagged Hunt. Hey kid, you know what this place is? If you want to live, you'll turn around and go home. Now! Sorry, no can do. Not after what you did to my friend. Well, my friend's brother. Well, my acquaintance's brother. I just hit select to see what the laws are, and there are none. Okay, well, so... This is great. This means we need to have a nice little balance between abilities. I assume... Uh... Yeah, we're okay. Yeah, this will this will be fine. This 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 will this will work out. Even using my weakest sex. Ooh, Kate is actually not in a good position. Um, I'm trying desperately not to look up uh, how to make her an assassin, but that's what I've decided to do. Kate here will be our sniper assassin, and then Tinfany can be a sniper something else. It doesn't. 
really matter. I haven't really thought that far ahead, but... Cat here, Kate here, I still don't know how to open Assassin yet, so I've got her working on Fencer just to see if that's what I need. I'm... I don't want to look it up, so I haven't yet, but if I get completely stuck and we get much farther, then I'll look it up. I see what they were saying about the Jaggeds. This place gives me the creeps. Defeat all enemies. I don't remember how death works in this game. Ooh, you're cute. Uh, uh, nah, never mind, I can't save myself. Anyway, in... Final Fantasy Tactics Classic, when a character ran out of hit points, they would have a counter over their head. It would count down from either two or three. And that was how many rounds would take place, and then the character would permadie. I don't remember the situation here. I'm pretty sure it's not instant when you knock a character's health down to zero. But it's still something to be paranoid about. And make sure the white mages have plenty to do. But the nice thing... The other side of that, as Little Pyro was so happy about, being lawless, it means we can just bring full power. And we don't have to worry so much about specific targeting and maneuvers and all that. All we have to worry about is bringing our best abilities to these enemies. Okay. Well, as always, we just gang up on each person one at a time. With all this grinding, we are definitely much more comfortable. We two hit the sniper, and let's see. We're level 13, they are 13, 14, 13, yeah. So we're, we're all on the level now, thankfully. Uh, and it's you two who got hurt, and this spell will bounce, but who cares? We need to get everyone kind of spread out, but we're working on it. The little gumball that is over our paladin's head is reflect. Any s normal spell that comes at him will be bounced back to the caster, which is not always in our favor, but it is usually in our favor. I probably can't get up there, can I? Well, let's see. Nothing more I can do there. And little pyro doesn't have his... Wow. All right. He kind of got more rocked than I thought he did. Right now, we just kind of want to spread out, make sure the enemy doesn't have too many avenues to, to, to blast us from multiple directions at once, and we should be okay. Hello, Selm. I believe Selm is a blue mage? It's one skill set I was never very good at. I don't have the patience in any Final Fantasy, generally, to go after every single enemy side spell that exists, and that's the way you kind of have to do it in order to maximize the strength of your blue mages. Ooh, that's right. I Nope, I can't haste my paladin. Damn it. Uh, here, haste the monk. So poor Montblanc no longer can use items, but he's a time mage black mage, so he has... Some support magic. Well, right now just one spell. And he hits like a freaking truck, which is his main uh, his main benefit. And he can still cure himself by casting fire on himself. So Mont Blanc is starting to get to the more complicated tactics for Final Fantasy tactics, as we're finally getting into multi-classing everybody. Ninjas can attack twice, but the... Well, no, never mind. He's doing some ninjutsu horse shit. Debuffers are fun. You missed, so you suck. All right, I guess we'll just beat the piss out of the blue mage, because he's the one who's closest to us. If we focus fire, anybody should go down pretty quickly. Especially since we're on level. I mean, you saw it with the sniper. We focused fire on her and she didn't last very long. Yep, perfect. Uh, 
That's fine. It's not gonna do a lot of damage. Okay. I was hoping the enemies would play by the same rules and we would see countdowns when they started to get hit, but apparently not. I almost want to sacrifice one of my own people just to see if it is an instant death or if I have a counter. I would swear I have a counter. Uh, yep. Good. We've got really good control of this. As long as we stay staggered, we'll be just fine. Um, I think Mont Blanc is next. No. Oh, the ant is next. Wow, Mont Blanc. Oh my gosh, Mont Blanc is slow as hell. That must be a time mage thing. All right, go for the kill shot. I had a more interesting plan in mind, but. Right now, we just have to thin their numbers. Okay, Pyro, I'm not sure what to do with you. There we go. better chance to survive in case something goes awry. Perfect. Spell will bounce back and heal Mont, Mont Blanc while seriously damaging that ninja. Well, that almost worked. I think Mont Blanc's at 100% anyway. Yes, please line up. Please make it more convenient for me to wipe the both of you out. Oh, it doesn't feel like my haste lasted very long. What do I have here? Hmm. I think eventually monks can get an ability that they attack in a line, but unfortunately we don't have that yet. Oh, that's fine. Monks still hit extremely hard, so... I don't know what I'm doing with my monk yet. He's just kind of existing. Uh... Yeah, get in there. Low chance to hit, but that was okay. Good dodge. So far, so good. None of my people are really in danger. Pyro has the lowest percentage of hit points right now. Where are you going? Resonate. I don't know what that does. Uh-oh. Uh... That is don't act. Wow. Okay. I'm really surprised he don't acted his own guy, and I can fix that pretty easily without having it affect the ninja. Oh shit. I always forget about that reflect unless I'm consciously thinking about it. That's another class I don't use very much, the Beastmaster class. You can have a Numu turn into this Beastmaster, which allows you to capture monsters and use them in battle. And I've never really been good at that class. It also kind of pigeonholes you because you don't have a lot of additional space. You have like this monster farm everyone can kind of be a part of, but... Yeah, do that. Um, and you level them up and everything. They're like additional party members, but they don't... Monsters don't have jobs, so you can't make them as varied in what they can do. They're, they're all si pretty single-focus creatures, and I like having more variety in my team. 
another one down. Let's keep this going. I wish I would stop coughing. You know what the hell's wrong with me all of a sudden? What? Oh, did he auto-regen? Oh, that's fine. He can auto-regen all day. We're going to do enough concentrated damage to him that it won't matter. Yeah, like that. Um, well shoot, I may as well send my paladin back this way to, to protect our flank. Nothing I can do, though, while I wait. My poor paladin hasn't gotten much accomplished today. Oof, need to get Pyro healed up. I'm kind of neglecting his hit points. Ironically, he's the one I need to protect the most. Alright, here you go, buddy. Have an X potion. I'll get you back to fighting shape. Hopefully it tastes like a delicious Mountain Dew Voltage, hashtag not sponsored, but that's what I'm drinking. I go through phases of cravings, as does everyone, I'm sure. I recently had my yearly craving for beer, which I never have, but that craving went away after about two hours, so I still haven't had any drinks, other than at WrestleMania. Not that I'm proud of it, I'm not an alcoholic, nor a recovering one, nor is it a problem, it, I just generally don't like beer. So, but yet, my tongue and brain crave it, usually once a year, and my rule is if I am still craving it after like two days, then I'll go buy a six pack, and then by the time I drink the six pack of Bud Light, I don't want another beer again for at least a year, if not longer. So, I was ready for that, but this time around... I craved it for about two hours and then got distracted by something and then no longer craved anything alcoholic. So that has been fantastic. Again, no judgment on alcohol or anything else, just it's less money I have to spend. So far, so good. We've definitely got this battle in hand. I'm gonna start uh, kind of fast forwarding a bit. Turtle Boy is the last enemy standing and he's... Why did that cause damage? Wait a second, hold on, what, wait, what's my new move wear? Oh, is he wearing the white robe? He sure is, because I'm teaching him a different spell, whoops. Anyway. I'm trying to surround him. The frickin' turtles, man. They have a lot of defense, so there's not really a whole lot I can do here. I'm gonna just have to keep whittling him down, other than casting magic when I can with Montblanc, provided it lands and provided I don't accidentally hurt my teammates. Well, my Numu is going to just have to take one for the team because otherwise we're going to be here all day. So I'm just going to keep setting him on fire too with Mont Blanc. There's not really a lot more I can do right now. Go ahead and bonk him. I mean, it's not going to do anything, but go ahead and bonk him. At least we have part of his escape route cut off so I can pull back my white mage and we can still sort of maneuver in there as we need to. There we go. And we did it with only a little tactical friendly fire. What's a little tactical friendly fire between friends, you know? I hope this is the last time I have to come here, says Pyro. Woefully naive of the situation he's in. It's okay, little Pyro. I am sure you'll be fine. Let's go report to Nono. Off to Baguba Port. With enough time in the episode... But I can actually go do that. And Chaucer got himself a skill, and we've got all sorts of levels, and we've got all sorts of things. This is good. Oh, and now I have a mountain. Um, uh, mountain! 
Good deal. I guess before I leave, I'll grab the treasure that's here. 130 grand, man. We I've definitely turned the corner on money. Stuff is still going to be pretty expensive, but this gives us a very nice cushion for a while. Pyro, you made it back safely, Kupo! And you caught the bad guys too, Kupo, Kupo, Kupo! Nope, we killed them. Uh, I got a reward for turning in those corpses. Here, no, no. I want you to use it to repair your airship. Koopo, I can't take away your reward, Koopo. No, it's okay. The clan's already got its cut. Go ahead. Take it, Koopo. It's going to cost a lot to fix her up. <laughs> Ooh, brain filter caught one. Koopo, I know. Actually, in order to fix her, I'd have to borrow money. So I was thinking of making her into a merchant ship. Koopo, a merchant ship? Is your airship even big enough? Oh, I couldn't carry any large cargoes, of course, Koopo. Uh, I could still supply small merchants, though, Koopo. Koopo, that sounds like a pretty good idea. You really think so, Koopo? Uh, good luck, no, no. Also, I think I'm using the same voice for both of you, but what else am I going to do with Moogles? <sighs> Merchant trade ship. They must carry lots of rare items. I'll be handling everything from source to store. I'll let you know if something good comes in, Koopo. Thanks, Nono. I'll be looking forward to it. And it absolutely won't take advantage of our friendship. Nono's airship merchant business has started. Link to add new items at his shop. Check often. Well, I can't link because I'm playing on an emulator. And even if I wasn't playing on an emulator, I don't have a freaking Game Boy cable. So, now what can I do? Um. Oh my gosh, there's so many missions for me to do. Well, I... <sighs> I guess I'm going to stop here? Let me see if I can figure out what I'm supposed to do. The bounty? It must be the bounty. Looking for information about that bounty the palace is offering. Give us a shout if you see us. We're around. Clan Ox. And no cancellations. I kind of assume that's my next story mission. So I'm going to call it for now. And I'm going to run a couple of these dispatch missions. It won't take me very long, and then we will be able to hit up the bounty in the next one. So thank you all very much for watching. I will see you again tomorrow for another episode that I promise will go a bit long. But hey, what, the last episode was over long, so this one's going to be a little shorter. That's That sounds fair, right? 